Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video today. We are taking a look at the new BMW X7 here at the Zurich Car Show. And as you can see, we have a very nice design, very unique appearance on the road. Now the headlights have this split design. Data running LEDs are here and then the main units are here. We have the massive double kidney grille, which is also illuminated. Um, it's possible to get the iconic glow. I believe uh, you can see it on the camera as well overall the front very muscular indeed look at this tell me in your comments how do you like it and now it's time that we check out the specs before we move on because this is the x7 x drive 40d so the diesel six cylinder three liter engine producing 339 ps and 700 newton meters of torque name of this lovely color is the m broken gray metallic you see it it's very nice especially in combination with the diamond cut finish wheels which i'll show you in more details the model in our video also has the m sport package and uh, you can pause the video here to see all of the options that this car has as well as the total price which is here this is the price in switzerland with all the taxes but now let's continue the review and let me show you the details from the side and now the side profile 5 meters 18 that's the length of the car it's got the large wheels so here you see the 22 inch ones 275 40 r22 even the 23 inch ones are available and here you see a gorgeous design of the wheels m badge and the m badge is here also as we have the m sport package on the model in our video wheel arches are finished in the same color as the body of the car of course uh, and this m sport package and if we come here i will show you the rear of the car there we go it has the slim horizontal led lamps and they have the new housing and also a bit of a different uh, design and you see that we have this gloss black uh, trim that is connecting the lights emphasizing the width of the car even more and also it is in the glass surface so I think that's really cool tell me in the comments how do you like it and now with a bit of a better view let's actually check out the trunk press this of course electric tailgate that is divided into two sections you can also press this and now you have the full access you see that this car actually has the six seat layout two seats in the second row and then the two seats here what you can do is you can pull them back like this we will actually do it with this one as well there we go now how cool is that press this it closes and you can also press this and now you will see there we go and you get the 12 volt power supply in here as well and press this again in order to close this and uh, yeah well you also see that this car has the real exhausts on both sides so that's really cool and something that you don't often see and now look at the layout here very nice and this car is really huge press this to close the tailgate tell me in the comments how do you like the exterior design we also have this bottle light a very nice and well-known bmw lighting signature here for the bottle light uh, we will now explore the interior of this model which is really impressive as it's got the all new infotainment system and the new screens so as soon as we get our turn i will show you the details Starting with a wider view, we have a large curved screen, 12.3 inch digital cockpit and 14.9 inch main touchscreen. You also see the ambient lights on this special bar and the whole layout is very nice. New central console with the minimalistic gear selector, which is also new. And uh, yeah, well, let's change the view and let me show you more details. And this is the new 14.9 inch main touchscreen with the new BMW operating system 8. I will go through the details in a moment let me just show you the central console here so you see the nice ambient lights and the ambient lighting throughout the whole car you can of course change the color 
and here you have the wireless charger usb port 12 volt power supply and the adjustable cup holders main central console with the new design of the gear selector which is quite cool minimalistic one and uh, yeah you still have this controller here to change between various uh, things and i think it's a great solution to have both the touch screen and this controller and uh, these are the driving modes if you press this you get additional room usb c port inside Thinking about the additional room this is the nice glove box with carpeting but now let's focus on the infotainment system so the new infotainment system bmw operating system 8 and if you press this you go into the main like menu where you have all of the options so a lot of things to choose from for example we can turn on uh, the navigation actually show you the map view and you see the nice 3d shape of the buildings we are now at the lovely city of zurich so i can show you the city center for example with the nice 3d buildings look at this how cool is that i can just imagine how nice does this look during the night very very nice and impressive indeed now we can also press the home menu and change between the widgets here so you see you can actually customize this and add your widgets depending on what you use the most and uh, yeah well not gonna go through all the details of this new infotainment system but i think you will get used to it quickly speaking about the ac it is now on touch but you have the functions all the time here so you see menu for the climate of course we need the key so that's why it's not active right now but you can change the temperature and the air blower here so i think it's really easy to use it back to the home menu and let's go into this section here bunch of things are available here you can customize various things including the head-up display and uh yeah, well you can adjust the height i'm not sure if camera is catching it but you can also adjust the brightness i think you can see it a bit and uh yeah well instrument cluster and control display all can be adjusted in here and back to this home menu let's actually check out the my modes which you can change also here so sport look at this when you change this the whole ambient light and the layout here changes comfort once again eco pro i love this blue it's very nice calm and relaxing and uh yeah well you can also uh, change and actually configure the individual mode so you can configure the damping steering drivetrain and uh yeah well you can then adjust this sport sport plus sport individual and then configure the individual so i think that's pretty much it not gonna go through all the details of this new infotainment system and here is where you can see that we also can change the content that we see in front of us for example the navigation and stuff like that you also change the various things in the head-up display i think you can see it right now a lot of information here available as well so let's put the navigation view for example here in front of us tell me in the comments how do you like the interior and now it's time that we check out the rear bench a bit over 3.1 meters is the length of the wheelbase and let's jump here at the back massive doors nice ambient lights and you see we have the two seats so look at this i'm really comfortable in here uh, the front seat is adjusted for my comfortable driving position this is the lovely view on the front usb c port and uh yeah well this is really nice i mean uh this is where you want to be you can be driven in this car uh, i think you will enjoy it almost as much as driving it and now with the doors closed so that we can see the ambient lights more clearly and here in the middle you have the x7 lettering adjustable cup holders 12 volt power supply two usb c ports 
this is where you change the AC also some storage area on both sides and the armrest is here so it's all nice and comfortable and even though I'm not sure if this is even necessary but I want to show you how much space I still have for my head so this is just so comfortable and you see we have the special headrest for long distance cruises. Speaking about the powertrains, various options are available. Top of the line is the V8 engine, but also the inline six petrol and diesel are available. As and also the engines have the 48 volt mild hybrid technology. And that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching this video. Do subscribe to the channel as there will be plenty of more to come and see you on the next one. Bye bye.